Well, thank you very much. The happy clinking. Loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, great. Economic, environmental impact in these troubled times. Excuse me? You're so much fun. You know what? I think our interviews will last about two seconds. <laughs> I know. Well, so this movie is its such a heart warmer. I cried three times during the course of it. I don't believe you've ever cried in your life. Well, you know, it's a cruel and hard world being me, but I like to lie. It's completely true. Okay. So you have brought tears to my eyes. So tell me about this character coming into yourself. Obviously, since it's not a physical manifestation of yourself, how did you find him sort of embodying you? If he did, at all. Yeah, uh, you know, to, to tell you the truth, it's not quite like that. I mean, it's a very different uh, experience from what I'm accustomed to. I mean, when I've done other films, it's, that's really the idea is to try and get into the character, maintain that character. Of course, uh, with this process, you're working over, for me, it was three years. So, um, you know, what was difficult is once we established the character, which I did with a lot of help from the directors, Bob and Aaron, um, who obviously know the ins and outs of all these characters. They've been on this film for six years. Um, and so, for me, what was difficult was maintaining the character, because I would do a session, leave, I'd go and do another film, go to England, make a film, come back, and they say, we're going for another session. So it always took me, like, 45 minutes to, to get back into the swing of things. What did you learn about yourself and your voice? In Absolutely mind? nothing. Yep. Just came out cold. These things happen. They do. And besides enjoying themselves when people see this film, what do you hope that people glean from it when they walk out of the cinema? Thank you. We're done. Thank you.